I'm sorry. I can't believe you overslept again! It's just like back in middle school. I'm sorry. Can I That's a very serious accusation. I hope you're not lying to me. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding. I'll investigate the matter. May I see your phone for a moment? What is this? Would you care to explain why something like this is on your phone? What? I've never taken any pictures like that. 
How did this get on my phone? Okay, Osana. It's time. You can do this. Oh. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. This? It's a very special... Nice work. What do you need? What do
What do you What do What do you Can I help you? Is that true? I'd hate to think we have a thief here at school. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. May I take a look inside your bag? This doesn't belong to you, does it? What are you doing with someone else's property? No! I'm not the one who did this! I would never steal from anyone! What do you What do you need?
much time in the school. What do you need? Pleasure doing. Can I help you? That's a clear violation of school rules, not to mention completely illegal. If what you're saying is true, she will face serious consequences. I'll confront her about this. I need to take a look in your bag. Cigarettes! You have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Huh? I don't smoke! I don't know why something like this was in my bag! What do you... Senpai, do you ever have recurring nightmares?
What's wrong, Osana? I woke up late, so I had to skip breakfast this morning. I'm starving. How about grabbing a snack from the vending machine? Oh, I would love a bag of chips right now. That machine is way overpriced. I don't have enough money with me. Plus, I think some of the machines around here are just plain broken. Sometimes I put coins in and nothing comes out. I swear, I'm gonna kick the next machine that steals my money. Mm, I'd offer to buy you something, but I didn't think of bringing any money to school with me. Ah, don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Parched. Time for a drink. What? Seriously? Ugh, stupid hunk of junk! Give me my drink! What can I have? Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'll have to have a word with her later today. What do you need? It has come to my attention that you've been vandalizing the school's property. What exactly do you have to say for yourself? Wait! I, I can explain! It's not what you think!
be like. Well, lately. What do you need? Pleasure doing business with you. I've been listening to a lot of classic stuff. What do you What do
This one's free. Don't get used to it. Can I help you? That's a bold claim. Are you certain? I'll investigate the matter. If she is cheating, I'll catch her in the act. What's this inside of your desk? An answer sheet! You're cheating! Unacceptable! What? Wait, no! I don't know how that got there! Come with me! Obviously, we need to have a long talk about the kind of behavior that will not be tolerated at this school! That's it. I've given you enough second chances. You have repeatedly broken school rules and ignored every warning that I have given you. You have left me with no choice but to permanently expel you. No! Please! Don't do this! Back off! Quit it! Sana. <sighs> um, excuse me. I couldn't help but notice that you seem quite sad about something. Would you like to talk about it? Huh? Um, have we met before? Oh! 
I'm sorry. My name is Amaya Odiaka. We go to the same school. I'm sorry if it's strange that I approached you so suddenly. <laughs> when I see a sad face, I can't help but try to make things better. So, what's wrong? My childhood friend, Osana. Recently, she was expelled from school. She had a few faults, but I never thought she'd be a delinquent. I guess I was wrong about her this entire time. Uh, oh, I... I'm so sorry to hear about that. I... I, I can't imagine what that must be like. Hey, it's not much, but maybe this will take your mind off of it for a moment? Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, take one. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> of course, nobody makes better pastries than my mom and dad. Actually, I'm heading to my parents' bakery right now. Would you like to come with me? It'll take your mind off of things for a while. Oh. No, it's okay. I wouldn't want to be a bother. It wouldn't be a bother at all. If I just leave you here, I'll worry about you. <laughs> well, I guess it would be better than moping around. Okay. Sure. I'll come with you. Then let's get going. You're safe now. Congratulations on eliminating Osana-chan. I didn't expect you to get rid of her that way. But I suppose it works. Disappointed? Were you hoping to see something more violent? Oh, disappointed wouldn't be the right word. Just... Surprised, that's all. But that's not why I'm contacting you today. I've learned something that I think you'd like to be aware of. Take a look at this. Who is she? Her name is Amai Odayaka. She's the leader of the cooking club at Academy, and she's been getting quite cozy with your senpai lately. She's fallen for him. Hard. She's quite enamored with the cherry tree myth, so I'm pretty sure she'll be confessing to him this Friday. Rotten luck, huh? Right after saving Senpai from Osana, another girl shows up to steal him from you. Stop playing games. Get to the point. No games. It's simple. I want to see Amai suffer, and I think you're the best person for the job. That's is that really what this is all about? You just want to see girls suffer? It's a bit more complex than that. But let's keep things simple for now. Remember, you have until Friday to deal with your new rival. Eliminate her, or Senpai will never belong to you. He already belongs to me. He just doesn't know it yet.
Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for setting aside the time to take this call. I know that you're a busy man. No, no, there haven't been any complications. I just wanted to confirm that I've been following your instructions properly. I'm glad to hear it. Are you satisfied with how events are unfolding? Ah, oh, that's good to hear, sir. I must confess, I'm still worried about the students. Acceptable casualties? Necessary sacrifices? The price of progress? I see, sir. I wish I could view it from your perspective, but the thought of bloodshed in my school still makes me quite uncomfortable. No, no, of course not, sir. I'll, I'll continue doing precisely as you've asked. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I'll keep you informed of any noteworthy developments. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Psycho.